Okay, so we've learned how to bring in some vector data, uh, work with CQL, and even uh, click on the map and grab that vector and do something with it. The last thing I want to show you is I, I just replaced our map on function again. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the map and then from that location that we clicked, we're going to find all the schools that are within that distance. So instead of asking for Lindau Chemical, we just click. Pretty easy to do. Um, first thing though, I'm uh, adding a projection of EPSG to open layers. Now, open layers only works with uh, latitude, longitude, and spherical mercator. So I've done one other thing up here, and here I've included links to proj4.js and also the actual 26917.js or 26917 EPSG coordinate system. Now, if you're saying to yourself, what's this guy talking about, 26917, what's that? Well, remember, all of our Richland data is in that UTM 17 North coordinate system. That's the EPSG 26917. So we did this earlier on. The problem, of course, is that Open Layers has no idea what that means. So here's been a bunch of uh, JavaScript that's been written to help define that coordinate system. So we, we've put that in here. Let's go down to the bottom. So the next thing we're doing is we're going to create um, a variable called UTM. And in this case, it's an Open Layers projection. And I'm going to transform the coordinate that came in from EPSG 3857 because when we click on the map, in fact I should probably do this. Let's do um, alert EVT dot coordinate and let's just get our first coordinate in the array. That's good. We'll save that. So this is ol underscore v5. Now we'll run that. Here are our points. And if I click on here, look at that number, right? That's because this is spherical mercator. So the problem is, with that data, when I pass a coordinate to this CQL filter, in this case, we're using the coordinates for the point and finding the geometry that's located there, and then calculating the distance in terms of meters. That's where um, it's going to use that coordinate with the negative 9 million, whatever that was, and it's not going to find anything. So let's do this. Let's go in and issue another alert, and let's do UTM0. And we'll run this and see what, what happens. So we'll come back in here. We'll refresh our browser. And now I'll click. So as I click here, there's that negative 9 million. But now here's the 498,000. So as you can see, this is a UTM coordinate in the X ring. So let's get rid of our alerts. We don't need that one. And we don't need that one. So let's take a look at our CQL filter. If we come back up here to some of our CQL filters. Now I'm seeing, well think about this one. I want to find points that are within 5,000 meters of a particular XY coordinate. Well now I've got the proper XY coordinates. And in fact, let's just do another alert. I'll type alert CQL filter. And that'll be good enough. Actually, let's do a prompt. All right, let's save that. Let's run it. And here's our map. I'll click over here. And this is my command. So it's D within the geometry. Here's our point value now. Okay, and it's within 5,000 meters. So here we are looking at our layer preview. And I can take that and paste the CQL function in there, and there we go. That's our result. So let's go back in to our code and see what's happening. So I've done that. Let's get rid of this. 
I can tab this over so things look a little nicer. So once I've issued that, and again, where did I get my distance from? Well, actually, where did I get my coordinates from first was I've got my UTM, so I've got my X and my Y, and then I've added to that the distance, which we already have inside of our browser up at the top here. And this vector dot get source clear just refreshes the whole vector object. So again, let's come in here, let's refresh things. And then these are the, the distance between with five thousand. So I'm gonna click let's make uh let's make it three thousand. And then I'll click in here. Those are some of the points. So notice what's happening. As I'm clicking on my map schools that are within 3,000 meters are showing up. Let's make it 10,000. You see a much larger number of schools. And let's go to 5,000. So all of a sudden now we can pass a location like an address location and say show me all the schools that are within a certain distance of this particular particularly clicked location. So this is just another tool that you add to your toolbox so we now know how to click and send off CQL statements or SQL statements for that matter. We could do that as well. Uh, we also know how to click and get information on raster and vector data and again we've also played around with the idea that we can uh, select something like Lindau Chemical or a particular factory and then a distance and then have those objects come up. So a lot of interactivity. So the next thing for you is to just spend lots and lots of hours making this relatively ugly looking map a little more presentable and also maybe playing a little bit more with how you add your attributes uh, in to your map when you click on something or when you query something. So have fun as you move through this and learn more on your own and begin to create some really cool web maps.